I'm in the woods again. And I can't breathe. I'm practicing for when uh, Skynet becomes self aware or World War III pops off. You know, whichever happens first. Well, some of you might be like, where the fuck you been? And I've been uh, exploring the world of AI created art. And it sucked me into like this whole rabbit hole <laughs> of literally a rabbit hole of just what can we do with our technology now and and this is just what is out there, what, what is accessible to a fat bearded guy with the education of a truck driver. You know, it really, I'm positive that we're at least three times the capability of what I can get access to. But it's fucking scary. So you might be saying, what the fuck is he talking about now? Um, there is, it, they, and it's been around for a couple of years, but it's just now getting, catching on. I don't know if you've been on Twitter, or Facebook, or any of these other things, but, uh, something called Mid Journey took the world by storm. I don't like Mid Journey because it requires you to go on, sign up, and be invited to a Discord server, and all your images are there for everyone to use, not just you. I kind of like having my own images. So I spent a lot of time digging on the internet. Turns out there's an open source version of this technology called Stable Diffusion. And it runs on my computer. And it, you know, has some interesting results you know here's just a few images as I walk through like real art in nature <laughs> but uh, you know it, it, it is able to come up with all of these really awesome artworks that most artists won't even dream of making you know it's like a whole new thing and it's fucking awesome I, I like it even though it has some implications that some people are just not cool with and yeah, we're gonna get into that anyways basically the way it works is well there's a couple ways to work it you can just uh I'll take, for example, I, I typed in <laughs> Joe Biden sniffing Nancy Pelosi's hair. 
in the Oval Office. And just to give you an idea of how low on the totem pole the open source stuff is, here's the images it spewed out at me. As you can see, they're quite fucking scary. <laughs> and uh, especially the hands, the hands are creepy as shit. You know, the faces, sometimes it gets faces right, other times it looks like those demons from Devil's Ad Advocate, you know. <laughs> but for the most part, if you run it enough times, it will spit out a usable good image that, with a little bit of Photoshop skill and a little bit of patience, you can eventually work your way towards a very solid awesome or realistic looking image you know you can go as artistic as you want you can style it after different artists and uh and the way it works is they basically cycle the model through the the ai learning computer learning shit you know this is my chimpanzee understanding of the technology in which it ran through millions of images and trained it basically with the keywords for those images, which were readily available on most stock sites and Google and all of that. It was able to associate that certain words look like certain things. And it would, you know, average out all of the images and come up with something completely brand new or something that looks like that. You know, and the, they refined these algorithms to be based on some of the best art of our history you know and some of the current art you know not super current but current enough you know current enough to get joe biden to sniff nancy pelosi but you know it then i got digging into as if this wasn't cool enough what else can you do with AI? Well, they're currently working on, they're not there yet, but you can see some videos floating around. Just Google or YouTube search AI created video. But we're getting to the point, and Meta's actually announced that they're gonna have a service. I'm sure it is taking all that data that he stole from us over the years, including all of our pictures, and, uh, their meta is actually doing uh I, I don't know if it's going to be an app or what which you type in something like that you want to make a video of and it gives you a video of it so that's coming of course we've known about deep deep fake for a while but i guarantee you pretty soon you won't be able to discern i give it maybe one more year and that's how quickly the technology is moving to where you will not very easily be able to figure out if what you're watching and what people are saying to you on camera is really what the fuck is being said you know no longer will you be able to trust what you see and hear and i say what you hear is because guess what there's also ai that's learning how to steal your voice in fact, uh, I believe James Earl Jones has signed over the rights to his voice to Disney for using use in future Darth Vader, only he doesn't have to do shit. You know? So, you know, he doesn't have to do shit because this thing can, you can type in words and uh, next thing you know, James Earl Jones is saying exactly what you said. And there's already open source software out there that you can do this with, with a little technical knowledge. You know, so this, this dude who was showing me on, on YouTube about this, this is all searchable by the way, was like recording his friends reading stuff and then coming in and making them, you know, talk shit about them. Did I take a bad turn? Sometimes I get lost. I was hoping for some fall foliage, but it just didn't fucking happen yet. So, I'm not off track yet. So, <laughs> you know, and the big uh, shitstorm that's brewing about this is twofold. One, um, 
it's going to put stock photographers out of work. That's already a thing, I think. Because why pay for a stock photo when you can just type in what you need a picture of and, you know, lo and behold, there you go. And you can tweak it and fuck with it to get what you want. We're not at that stage yet because, like I said, it took me a lot of finesse to get to the final image. And ultimately, the best result I got is when I took an existing image, which laid out the color scheme and the, you know, where Joe Biden was standing and whatever, and then gave the AI enough leeway to come up with its own version of that image. Basically, it's adding an extra image to the training algorithm for when it gets things wrong. And it does that a lot. And uh, if you got Photoshop skills though, you can go and photo bash, which is where you take a bunch of different pictures and put them where you want them in the composition and you compo composite them together. And only you can do that, then take that and run it through this algorithm and get a nice seamless version. Not necessarily what you put in, it's a new interpretation of it. And you can make, let the computer go hog wild on that too and uh, get something completely fucking different out of it. And unique. So, it's not like you're stealing images. It's no different than, well, it's a little different, but it's not really different than an artist who uses a reference image or has seen a bunch of art through their art school education and uh, is able to pull inspiration from the, all the different imagery they've been exposed to in their life. The difference is, is this computer does it with a hell of a lot more capability than we as humans can do it. So concept artists, their jobs on the chopping block, or not yet, but I, like I said, give it a one year and all this shit will be reality. You know, they've already got AI doing things with your medical stuff, you know, going far beyond doctor capabilities. And, you know, <laughs> a lot of different jobs that you would have thought, you know, nobody's like, no, there's no way that they'll be able to replace creatives. Yet, as a photographer, you know, I can tell you that's not the case. You know, there's a lot less use for photographers now. Why? Because everybody has a phone. One of the reasons I quit doing weddings is because I'd sit there, I'd bust my ass for 12 hours. And then I'd go home and go through 4,000 pictures and try and edit and pick the good ones. And before I even picked the good ones, I got the 12 shots that people took from behind me with their phone already on Facebook, already shared for the whole family. And, uh, you know, that leaves a person questioning just how much they want to spend on a photographer when nearly everybody at the wedding is taking pictures. A lot of them nowadays are just gonna hashtag the shit out of the pictures and compile them that way. Or in the future, they could just teach the AI what they look like and create all kinds of pictures. <laughs> sure, that'll feel authentic. This is some serious shit, jeez. So anyways, A lot of jobs are going away based on what I've observed in this rabbit hole of AI and machine learning that I went down. But have no fear. The World Economic Forum is working hard to get World War III going so that half of us die and the other half own nothing and are happy all while the uh, elites hide in the bunkers. So yeah, that's coming. But if we don't blow ourselves up in the next uh, year or two, make no mistake, AI is changing everything. I mean, uh, they're, they're already working on replacing me as a truck driver. Now they're going to try and replace any creative shit I do. Um, they haven't quite got there yet, but there will be AI-generated music for sure. There's already AI-assisted tools for music. You know. Um, does it mean... 
that creative people will be obsolete. No, you just got to learn to work a different way. You know, you got to learn how to, like, for example, there's ways you can manipulate the AI to get something unique and something that you want. It's, it's not as just as simple as typing what you want, unless you're patient and you just let it render overnight and see what you come up with. Um, a lot of the images are going to have imperfections you got to touch up. Um, cause, but like I said, over time, that's going to improve and require less and less human intervention to get a usable image. And some images are just usable right out of the gate. You just get lucky and the AI gives you something that you're happy with. The hell? I wonder what that's about. So, uh, there's a lot of, uh, like, argument going on about this technology, too. Because, A, there's a certain political movement that maybe you have heard of lately that doesn't like the idea of the open source version of this software being able to, in a very uncensored way, create whatever image you fucking want to create. Freedom of speech and expression is not something that makes these motherfuckers happy because you might think something that they don't agree with or they don't like and therefore like for example the political one I just put up um, about Joe Biden you know there's certain segments they don't believe that I should have the freedom to do that, even though artists can sit there and paint and draw that shit all day. I guess what they're worried about is people with no artistic skills being able to come up with memes and funny shit, you know, by just typing text in. Um, and it's still not that simple. You gotta have good keywording and all of that. You gotta put the right things in to get the right look. So it still requires a lot of experimentation and time. But they don't like the idea of that freedom being out there. You know. They and if you one of the uh closed applications of this, Dolly 2 is actually doing things to make you know to essentially censor you're not allowed to put anybody's picture any public figure, which is wrong, you know, artists can draw public figures, so fuck you, you know. But they're censoring or banning people that do that or do anything inappropriate, you know, so you, you AI porn addicts, you know, there's, there's that. <laughs> um, you know, but basically anything that they would censor on social media as being they're working on censoring it on dolly too but you don't need that because it's open source which means there's going to be thousands of apps do i go down here i don't think i go down here yeah look at the map i still got a little ways i think I mean, I can. I fucking, I'll go down here. Shit. I'm sure I won't die. So, there's already people trying to censor it. There's already people trying to remove the open source software because they're not okay with people being able to express themselves freely and artistically. You know, and then there's debate, of course, there's the people losing their jobs. I mean, look at the taxi drivers. They weren't happy about Uber. How'd that work out? It's kind of the same thing. You got to create a new skill set. You know, when your skill set becomes obsolete because of technology, you've got to, I'm going to die <laughs> or I'm going to drop my expensive ass camera. <sighs> When your ship becomes obsolete because of technology, you gotta adapt. You gotta develop a new skill set. This is not good. Ooh. Oh. 
I have no idea how this camera's doing right now, by the way. This is an experiment. <laughs> I am too fat to be doing this now. <laughs> or I just need to do it more often. <sighs> Anyways. Hey, we made it. There's no water in the river down here. Or the creek. Look forward to a lot of debates and lots of uh, censorship and bullshit on both sides of this going forward but you're gonna see pretty and it's it's alarming how quickly this is happening you're going to see a very rapid change in the creative space how we define art is going to be challenged you know Whew. welcome to porn breathing sim simulator. I gotta be careful with the new rules of service. <laughs> I'm breathing heavy because I'm fat. Not for any other reason. But yeah, there's gonna be a massive shift in the creative space going forward. So I'm kind of excited about it. I can tell you I, there was a day that I just sat there making images all day, seeing what I could come up with. You know, and I'm sharing some of them with you on here, you know. But having tested the capabilities of this technology in its infancy, I gotta say, things are gonna be shaken up in the creative spaces. What happens when AI takes all of this over? When you can uh, come up with an idea for a song and then type it in and it gives you an awesome fucking song that you like and that other people like. Does that make you a fucking musician? You know, or you come up with a piece of art, you know, based on what you typed in or you added your own flair to it. Does that make you a fucking artist? These are all questions that we're going to have to ask in the coming couple, next couple years. You know, if we don't die in nuclear fire. But I got to navigate this. It's kind of muddy today. I think I can just walk through the creek. Let's do that. Leaves at three. Let them be. And shit. Anyways, personal update. Other than that, I went to see Nine Inch Nails in uh, Ohio. And I had a great time, but I don't remember it. Because <laughs> I got blackout drunk. So I can't quite cross it off my bucket list yet. I gotta go again, and this time not drink. But from what I'm told, I was living my best life. <laughs> so other than that, you know, the whole party inside of my life, which I tend to do just once a week, um, things are turning around slightly from my misfortunes. When I was on the road, and this was the last misfortune, this was before I got back and went to the concert, the truck broke down. <laughs> it broke down in uh, on the border between Virginia and North Carolina. And uh, so I had to get towed. You know, the engine made a loud knocking noise, which is not good, and then stalled out and wouldn't restart. Um, and they said they were going to take four days before they could even look at it. So my company rented me a car. It's just a miserable experience when, you know, you're living in a vehicle and the vehicle breaks down. Um, I was in a hotel with a, you know, a backpack with some of my most important valuables because I didn't want to leave them in the shop. And, you know, 
it, and it cost me a lot of money, um, not personally, but in opportunity cost, because if I would have been running those three days that I was stranded, um, I would have made a lot more money. They paid me a hundred bucks a day, but when I go out, I want to earn money. I don't want to be fucking around, you know? So I took the full month off this time and I'll go out for like 10 days next time in October, middle of October. So there was that fun experience, but then lo and behold, I get back. I get back and I get my car in the shop and uh, you know, I'm thinking this is gonna be a thousand dollar fucking bill because I ran over that tire hard. Um, turns out it was just the exhaust shield that come loose and was vibrating on top of the muffler. So they uh, nonchalantly yanked it out there, gave me an oil change and that was 60 bucks. So, you know, repair complete. So things are turning around slightly. Let's hope it keeps turning around. Anyways, that's enough for this fucking video. You know, don't get too scared. This wasn't really a doom and gloom video. I'm excited for the whole AI art thing. Some people aren't though. But what the fuck do I know? I'm not a fucking expert. I'm just an asshole. Please like and subscribe for, for more shit. And I'll make more shit. And if you leave a super thanks, or if you're watching this in the premiere form and you super chat me, or you head to scottthetruckdriver.com and leave a tip in the virtual tip jar, maybe I'll be motivated to make more videos more often. You know, or not, I don't know. Um, but for right now, I'm gonna keep tinkering with my creative shit. Um, I'm tearing down my studio and moving it to the little room, at least parts of it. So to save money on heat during this energy crisis. So heating a room in the basement is expensive. So I'm choosing to not do that. Um, and I'm also trying to downsize my equipment too, because you know, minimalism. Uh, so I'm working on that, working on 3D graphics, you know, learning Blender, working on AI generated art and textures that you can put into Blender, that's awesome. Um, and that's what, how I'm spending my time. Uh, I'm still catching up on current events, so, but I'm definitely not focused on it and I'm not gonna abuse you too bad with the doom and gloom. But as you can see, I've worked in a few uh, zingers here and there based on current events. But as long as I'm doing the creative shit and getting out here and doing this shit and drinking with friends, then maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe I won't be as miserable. Yeah, every time I come here, it changes. Nobody drew any new dicks on there, so we're good there. So the next video you see is likely me going to Watkins Glen. I'm waiting for fall colors. We're not there yet. But uh, I'm going to experiment with it. And uh, I'm going to close out this video. I'm going to take a picture of one of the waterfalls up here. I'm going to bring the picture back to the AI generator, stable diffusion. Um, and. I'm gonna type some text in, see what what I can come up with based on my photography. But, you know, having uh, the AI have a go at it. Because, hey, it takes a while to make images the old fashioned way. This, I can turn them out all fucking night and have five masterpieces by the end of the fucking morning, you know. Maybe even more. Depends on how lucky I get. 
have a nice motherfucking day and shit. And if there was like lots of blurry shit because of this fucking shitty Panasonic autofocus, I'm sorry. That was part of the test today. So, yeah, we're getting a little bit of flow. And shit. Anyways, let me go find a picture to fuck with. Hmm. Interesting. I could probably do something with that. Hmm. I'm thinking a dragon chilling on the waterfall. <laughs> 